Hello everybody, Adam here with Flex Machine Tools and I am standing here with one of our new electric arms, the REM1650. This baby can go up to 500 RPM and has a tap capacity of 5 eighths in mild steel. But today I wanted to talk about how to program the digital depth control on this arm. So with me here, I will be tapping a 13 16 plastic tube and I know that's above the tap capacity, but with it being a softer material, it should be able to handle it just fine. So when you turn on your power pack, you're going to have three different modes here on the left. Your digital depth is going to be your third one down, which is also called full cycle mode, because you can program up to five different sizes, depths, and even RPMs. So to program our first hole here, we're going to hit this little folder button. This is going to bring up your programming screen. There's the five different steps you can program. So we're going to program our first hole here. Here's where you put in all your information. First window here, you get to choose whether you're in metric or inch. And since this is a 13, 16 tap, you're going to be in inch. 13, 16, and you're going to save and load. Number of threads is how many holes you want to tap. In this case, we just have one tube, so we're going to choose one hole. Here is your RPM. You can go anywhere from down to 10 up to 500 with this arm. So we're going to do 100 since we have a softer material. Now down here are these two windows, depending on whether you're in metric or standard, you get to choose your pitch and your depth. So the tap I have here is a 16, save and load. And your depth, we are going to go, let's go 600. Okay, now once you got all your numbers correct, you will save, double check, your step one here that you have all your information correct again save again and now you're back to your full cycle screen so to load up your first step here you're going to make sure your number one is selected your green light will be on you're going to hit this green check mark it will turn off now the most important step here is to make sure that this slider bar down here is all the way at zero if you have it anywhere else it will not load your pre-programmed RPM. If you have it moved and you hit start, it's going to kick you out of this mode and back to your standard mode. So, now that we have it at zero RPM, we load our first step here. We are now ready to tap our first hole. Now that we have all of our information programmed, we are ready to tap our hole. Now since we have digital depth activated, it will reverse itself all the way out once it reaches the bottom. Before, we, before I do this, I'll explain how this works. This is our forward button, and this is our reverse button. I'm going to apply a slight downward pressure so the first thread can start, and then I'm going to release. It will then reach the bottom at the pre-programmed RPM and depth, and reverse itself all the way out so that it's free. Now that we have our hole tapped, you can see that our count matches our pre-programmed count. One important thing to note about this is it will let you continue to tap at that pre-programmed depth and RPM until you hit this green check mark over here. Once you do so, as long as the counts match, it will bump you down to your next step. Now here I have half inch programmed at a half inch deep and we're tapping three holes. So once I tap those three holes, at 250 RPM, I will hit green check again and it will load down to step number three. Thanks for watching everybody and for more information please visit our website at flexmachinetools.com or give us a call at 1-800-837-2503.